Senator, our next question comes from Twitter, and it's about America's position in the world. The Obama administration says it leads from behind. How do we restore American leadership in the world? Well, first of all, you'd lead, you restore American leadership by having the most powerful military in the world. And, and we are, Washington is destroying our military. And I wish I could say it was just Democrats, but it isn't. Republicans voted for that sequester deal. And here's what's sad about it. I didn't vote for it, but I'll tell you what's so sad about it. It does nothing to balance our budget. Nothing. The cause of our debt is not our military spending. And yet, yet we are eviscerating it. We are on pace to have the smallest and the oldest Navy and Air Force in the world, the smallest ar uh, in, in our history, the smallest army in, in a long time. These are serious challenges at a time when the world has gone nuts. As I said the other night, there is a lunatic, a lunatic in North Korea with dozens of nuclear weapons. The Chinese are taking over the South China Sea. The Russians are trying to divide NATO. Radical jihadists are in dozens of countries across multiple continents. Iran is also going to acquire a nuclear weapon. And we're reducing our military? And qu quantity matters. We have great aircraft carriers, but we need more of them because they can't be in two places at once. And so we must restore military spending Otherwise, we are going to fall behind and be unable to meet the threats of our time, and we won't be able to live up to our promise that we make our men and women in uniform. And that is, if we ever engage you in combat, you will be better trained and better equipped than any adversary you will ever face. We won't be able to meet that if we continue this. We, we also have to keep our promise to our veterans when they come back home. We need a VA that cares more about our veterans than about the bureaucrats that run it. And we need a foreign policy of more moral clarity mean. Here's what it means. We are reliable to our allies, and our adversaries do not dare test us. I only bring that up because today we have the direct opposite. Is there a better example of it than the state of Israel? Israel is the only pro-American, free enterprise democracy in the entire Middle East. There's only one. We treat the Prime Minister of Israel with less respect under this president than we do the radical Shia cleric, the Ayatollah of Iran. That's unacceptable.